Hello students, today we will explain a beautiful poem that is The Snake Train and it is written by W. W. E. Ross. So the basic theme of the poem is, the poem is based on the theme of prevention of cruelty towards animals. The poet requests the human society not to be cruel towards the animals basically for snacks, to be kind-hearted and to be sympathetic towards the animals. The poet develops a thought or he requests to maintain the ecological balance and not to harm any species, especially snacks. The poet also requests the human being to be a good human and spread the love for animals. Uh, since all snakes are not dangerous, they are not poisonous, some are harmless. And they attack human beings only in self-defense. They attack the human being only in case of self-defense, when they feel that they are in a trouble situation or the human being may be harmful for them. In that case only, they, to protect themselves, attack on us. Hence, uh, they should be left on their own way. They have a right to existence. Means, the whole world is equal for all. Both the animals and the human being have the equal right to live happily and freely. Each human being has the right to live in a free atmosphere. Similarly, animals also having the same. So, come to the introduction. In the poem, the poet says that the snake tries to escape from being hit by the stick held by a person who is trying to kill it. So in this poem, uh, the poet describes about a snake who is trying to survive himself or trying to escape himself from the heat of a human being. The poet wants to say that all snakes are not harmful. All snakes are not poisonous. Human has a notion that snakes are dangerous and try to kill them as soon as they spot one. But this is not true. Uh, here the poet says, whenever a man see a snake, immediately they try to kill that snake. But it is not good for the animal. Okay, well, we have a common notion that all snakes are dangerous but it is not true the poet tells us that how a harmless green colored snake tries to hide behind the green bushes in order to save itself in this poem the poet says that a green colored snake tries to hide himself under a green bushes the poem is based on the theme of prevention of cruelty towards animals. So, come to the first stanza. The snake trying uh, to escape the pursuing stick with suddenly curvings of thin long body. How beautiful and peaceful are his selves. The snake tries to escape from being hit by the stick that is following it. As the snake crawls, its body twists and turns, forming fascinating cell. In the first stanza, the poet says, A snake is trying to escape himself from the heat of stick, which is held by a human being. As the snake crawls, to hide himself, uh, its body twists and turns, and 
forming fascinating shapes and it looks beautiful okay uh, come to next stanza he glides through the water away from the stroke o oh, let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt small and green he is harmless even to children the snake moves through the water in order to save itself the poet request to let it escape and behind the thick marshy plants as it is harmless the small green colored snack is harmless even to children so, so the poet says that the snack moves through the water in order to save itself the snack enters into the water to save itself the poet request not to kill the snack let him escape let him hide himself and he uh, he says the green colored snack is harmless for everyone even for the children it is not a poisonous snack okay so come to stanza 3 along the sand he lay until observed and chased away and now vanishes in the ripples among the green slim reeds still it was spotted and chased away by the person holding a stick it lay uh, quietly in the sand in order to save itself the snake disappear in the ripples of the water and hides in the camouflaging green bushes of the mercy plant uh, the uh, snake is trying to escape himself try to hide himself uh, from the chase of that human being still it was spotted it uh, the snake tries to hide himself but it is spotted by the man and uh, in order to save itself the snake disappear in the ripples of the water and hides in camouflaging green bushes of the mossy plant the uh, first the snake tries to hide himself inside the water then it tries to hide himself inside the green bushes to camouflage to disguise himself because the color of the bush is green and also the body color of the snake is also the same the green color okay uh, uh, there are three stanzas in this poem uh, the basic theme of the poem as we have already discussed that the human being should not be cruel towards the animals they should be kind hearted and sympathetic towards the animals because each human being uh, has the equal right to live freely uh, without any harm similarly animals are have, uh, also having the same rights okay so here uh, the literary devices which are used we will discuss like here no rhyming scheme is there no rhyme scheme is used in this poem it is written in a free verse means the poet has written the poem in a free style only alliteration the literary device which is used so uh, alliteration means the repetition of consonant sound two or more conjugative words when uh, there is repetition of consonant sound in a line the, then we can say that alliteration is used in the line like uh, he is harmless here uh, the consonant sound h he uh, he and harmless h are used so uh, this is the uh, basic idea of the poem uh, so it is a request to everyone to all the student to be kind hearted towards the animals don't harm them unless they 
harm us. Means as we think the animals are dangerous for us, harmful for us, similarly the, uh, the animals also feel the same that human beings are harmful for them, they are dangerous for them. So uh, let's live uh, freely, let's live happily and let the animals live happily. Thank you.